Hi everyone, this is your Nati. The hot stock I am going to present tonight is Muthoot Finance. As usual, before we go to the analysis, here is the disclaimer. The analysis is for education purpose only. Please do your due diligence or consult financial advisor before taking any position in the stock. After the disclaimer, this is appeal time. I again appeal to all viewers to please take time to subscribe to my channel as that is the only way you can motivate me to bring out more such videos. After subscribing, please remember to click the bell icon so you get notified whenever I post new videos. I have so far posted as many as 22 videos of hard stocks. All of them are wonderful picks. Please visit the channel and watch all the videos in the playlist titled Hotspot Stocks. Now let's go to the analysis. The chart in front of us is the weekly chart of Muthoot Finance. Stock made a high of 1709 in December in November or December 21, November 21 and has been falling since then. Last month it touched the low of 960 and is now presently trading at 1062. The stock has reached the hot spot with confluence of as many as 6 technical elements. Now let us look at each of the technical elements one by one. The line that you see is the s and R line, support come resistance. Okay, we do not have too many touch points, but we do have quite a few. So let us go, let us have a close look at it. You see here when it came first time, it got sold off, means it was acting as resistance. Then the next time, it managed to break out. Then third time, it came here, not touched, but almost quite close. So that was the third point. And then it has come here again for the fourth time. So we can consider this SNR line as a good support. Okay. Now the next one is the Fibonacci retracement. 61.8. I don't have to talk much about it. Everyone knows the importance of 61.8% which is the golden ratio and we are getting support right there. The next one is the Fibonacci extension. 127.2% extension of this leg. Okay. I have said even before that 127.2, 138.2, 161.8 are key supports. So in this case, we are getting support at 127.2. That is the third one. Now the fourth one is the yellow channel, which I have drawn connecting the high points, recent high points and the recent low points. So if you look very closely, we have, we have three touch points. In fact, four, if you look at this one also, it is almost touch point only. So we have, or even here also, if you, if you consider that also, then you have five touch points in the top edge. And in the median, if you look, see how beautifully the stock broke out of the median, touched the top edge, came back, took support at the median, went up, again came back to the median, two times took support, went up, again many touches we have here, okay, touched and then again went up high to touch the, the upper edge, came back, struggled a bit and then broke down, okay. So we can see that we have plenty of touch points both as support as well as resistance which makes the median and the ch channel a very reliable one, okay. 
powerful and reliable one. And we are getting support at the base of the channel. Okay. Now the next one is the pitchfork, the market geometry tool which I like very much. Okay. This pitchfork I have drawn connecting the lowest point to a high point and a low point. You see we are getting support, okay, not at the lower median. The, the green line that you see is also a median, which is a median between the central median and the lower median. The line that divides these two is another median, okay, which can also act as a support and that is what is happening here. here. We are getting support there, okay. Now, that is the fifth one. So, the last one, the sixth one is the 200 week moving average see look closely how beautifully it has been acting as here see how many weeks I don't know maybe a few months from March to one year from March 15 to, to March 16 one full year it was just traveling along this 200 week moving average did not go up did not go down okay then in Sometime in April, May, it took off, broke out, went and then during COVID, March 20, see how precisely it came back and took support here, okay. So, after that again it broke out and now it is back at the same line. The 200 bit moving up okay now I will switch on the elements so you get a feel how all these elements are converging at the current price level which I call as the hot spot okay now before I wind up I want to talk about the entry exit and the stop loss for which I will go to the, I will take you to the lower time frame, okay, the 75 minute time frame. See now you see the stock took support here, made a higher low and is just going a little horizontal. So I would imagine that this, this line, 1027. 25, 26, 27, whatever level between 1025 and 1029, this could be a good entry point. Okay, this could be a good entry point. Of course, when you talk of stop loss, if it goes below, then we it means we are wrong. Okay, it can go a little bit below because market volatility can take it even lower, temporarily lower than that, and it can come back. So you always need to have some cushion below this. So that cushion, I mean, depends on individuals' uh, capacity. So the low point is around 964. So maybe 950 or something like that. One could keep as a stop loss, make an entry around 1029 or 1024, that range. And then the target could be anywhere between 50 and 61.8 percent. These two lines that you are seeing, this is 50 percent, the top one is the 61. See 61.8 percent how it has acted as a resistance before also. So it is probable that it will go there. 1431 could be a target but this zone, total zone between 50 and 61.8 is a resistance zone. So it could take a U-turn anywhere here. So, the once the stock reaches the 50% level, we need to be cautious and watch the price action. The moment we get a sell signal in this region, we should take our profit and get out. So, I am not giving an exact target. So, I am just giving an idea somewhere between 1342 to 1431. That should be your target price. Okay. That's it. So, if you like my analysis, please click the like button share my video with your friends and if you have any comments please do let me know
థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్